Ah, another beautiful morning. The name of this town is not important. It could be any of numerous peaceful little settlements found nestled throughout Azeroth. These villagers, like many others, live in harmony and contently go about their day-to-day -day activities with blissful smiles and carefree laughter. Life couldn't be better. Unfortunately, these people don't realize tragedy is about to strike. Hello there, my name is Stanley Noob Sauce, and I am an investigative reporter. At this very moment, unbeknownst to the innocent villagers around me, an atrocity is about to be committed. This is an act so terrible, so unthinkably vile, that my editors will not even allow me to put it on film. And these are the same editors that aired that Torrin Gnome fiasco last week. You know, when that Torrin took a handful of lime jello mix, a bag of low-grade monkey tranquilizers, and that homemade unicorn costume too. But I digress. The point is, Due to my commitment to quasi-professional journalism, I can't air this unthinkable horror that is about to occur just a few short feet away. But, you may actually be able to hear it if you listen carefully. Oh, me backside! Oh, blimey! Oh, where am I? Sir, what just happened? I'm not even sure. I was just standing about, minding my own business, and all of a sudden, I hear something running up behind me. But before I could even turn about, I get booted right in the backside, and go flying a good 40 yards. This is outrageous. We dwarfs are not bonny wee kittens. We ought not to be getting punted. As you can see, dwarves being mistaken for kittens is becoming a common and quite disturbing occurrence. To find out what was at the heart of this terrible problem, I spoke with a prominent member of the Warlock community. So, in your opinion, why are Warlocks all of a sudden not able to tell the difference between a dwarf and a kitten? I'm glad you asked that question, Stanley. The first thing you have to understand is that kitten punting has always been a very important part of the warlock culture. Young warlocks use the practice of punting little kittens to transform themselves from sissy little mages into awesome face-melting masters of the dark arts. You don't just wake up one morning and say, you know, I'm not happy with just killing my enemies. I think I'll also start tearing out their souls right when they die. You have to work up to that kind of twisted level of evil, and that's where kitten punting comes in. This method has been handed down from old warlocks to young for thousands of years. Then why the sudden outbreak of mistaken dwarf punting? I mean, it sounds like you all should know what a kitten looks like by now. You know, thousands and thousands of years and all that. Well, Mr. Noob Sauce, you have to remember that the warlock community has historically been very small. But now that we have... The Felguard... warlock population has exploded. There just aren't enough master warlocks to train the new ones. We have tons of little beginning warlocks running around trying to punt kittens, and half of them haven't ever even seen a kitten. So obviously, there's going to be some unpleasant repercussions. So you're saying that these new warlocks don't even know what a kitten looks like? That's exactly what I'm saying. It was obvious that something had to be done. I contacted Dr. Kutovsky the top scientific researcher at the world-famous Kitten Studying Institute of More Better Learning. Welcome to my laboratory! Thank you, Doctor. What can you tell us about the recent kitten punting problem? For to understand kitten punting problem, must first to understand kitten. Many long and complicated experiments have proved that kitten is actually a little cat. The problem of warlock punting dwarf and not kitten is come from warlock thinking dwarf kitten. Um, right. Uh, are there any pointers you could give to maybe help warlocks know what a kitten looks like? Of course. Please do look at picture. This is little kitten. You will see is being not dwarf. 
first to notice little pointy kitten ears here and here. Also is seeing kitten whiskers on side of face, here and here. Second is notice kitten eyes for not look like dwarf eyes. And little pointy kitten nose. Also, big thing is not having beard like dwarf. Kitten also not wear clothes like dwarf or carry big gun for to overcompensate for other shortcomings. This easy way to tell kitten, dwarf looks very much different from kitten. After thanking Dr. Katowski and grabbing some of those donuts, I quickly left the laboratory. I could smell something burning and could only assume that it was merely a matter of time before the whole building went up in flames. Hi, Grisillus here from Knights of the Dawn. While we've had some fun today and made some jokes, the subject of kitten punting is no laughing matter. Remember, while being a warlock comes with a huge amount of power, it also carries a great deal of responsibility. It is only through diligence and hard work that the sacred art of kitten punting can be maintained for future generations. It is up to the new warlocks to diligently uphold the standards of this historic and surprisingly fun practice. It is our duty to study and learn how to properly identify a kitten before we attempt to punt. It is only through years of study and practice that a young warlock can gain the knowledge and ability to properly punt a kitten. Remember warlocks, the future of kitten punting is in your hands. Thank you.